Hello, good evening, and welcome to Monkeys With Fire. How is everybody tonight? Hope you're all well. Hope you're getting ready for the weekend. Let's say hello to the chat. Good evening, Mystical Unicorn Painting. Hello, Lornor. And good evening, Sir Toby 86 Welcome to the channel. Thank you, everybody, for joining us tonight. So then, what game are we going to play? We're going to take a look at Cadaver, the light-hearted game of raising the dead from Cheatwell Games. Uh, yeah, a bit of light-hearted necromancy, because that's a lot of fun, isn't it, hey? <laughs> so that's our game for this evening. This is uh, it's a charming little game, uh, lovely artwork to it. It's going to be a relatively quick game game uh but we've ha raised uh met some technical difficulties and so mystical is uh is not able to join us live uh via the voice chat so she's gonna be playing uh in the chat there is space for one other player we can actually have three players on this so if anybody in the chat would like to join on in then uh just raise a dead hand and uh, we'll, uh, we'll deal you on in. All right, let us, uh, let's jump to the table then. So here we go. I, effectively, we have the game set up. It's a very, very simple setup. Uh, we have three different kinds of resources. We have brains, we have scrolls, and we have potions. And underneath each of these, there is a double version of that resource. And we'll get more placed in behind those as we play. And I have shuffled the deck. The deck goes back into the box in this wonderful uh, way of uh, basically storing all the cards, keeping them together already built into the box which is great it has this wonderful graveyard design all around it so we literally are digging up <laughs> digging up <laughs> bodies <laughs> to reanimate oh my goodness me <laughs> So then, what we do is we deal each player a hand of five cards. So we'll just take a stack here. Is anybody else wanting to join, or is it going to be just myself and Mystical to start off with? Raise a decomposing hand. I'm going to deal out hours to start with. So that's five each. You're just watching, Satobi? Okay, not a problem. Right. So that's going to be my hand. Mystical, this is yours. Now this is a uh, advanced copy of the game that Cheatwell Games provided for us. Uh, so the art may ch change a little bit, the quality of the cards may change a little bit, but I think it's it's very, very close to finalised. Okay, so basically what we're going to do in our turn, the turn has three phases which must be followed in order. We have laying, drawing and trading. Once these are completed, then play goes over to the next player. So laying, uh, you are able to put down two cards. Uh, how and where the player lays their cards depends on the type of card. So then, what we actually have is we have three different kinds of, let's call it generic corpse. And then we have one special abomination corpse. Each corpse requires a certain number of resources to reanimate it. So what you might do is you might play down your corpse first, and you could then use your other card as one of your resources to place on that card. You could, of course, place down maybe two corpses and be working 
several bodies all at once. It depends how feverish you are at uh, raising your army of the dead. Um, okay. You may discard cards if you wish, if you wish, but that does actually count as laying a card. Okay, so be aware of that. So corpses laid in front of us. Each corpse requires three resources to raise it, which are shown in the top left. Resources are laid on the corpses, and when the correct three resources symbols have been laid, the player has raised that corpse. Resources can be placed on a corpse in any order. Double resource cards may be used when only one resource is required. So then, once you have raised your corpse, we will put it sideways, and that means that that corpse cannot be tampered with any further, nor by another player. And uh, I'll highlight that because this game does have that take that mechanic within it, which we'll see in a moment. When your corpse has been raised, whichever resources you used will get placed under these piles. Um, there are cards that are accomplices. These are dubious individuals who allow you to draw resources from the resource piles. Uh, when you play down a, an accomplice card in front of you, uh, this is done during you, the drawing phase. Uh, oh, so during the drawing phase, any player who owns an accomplice card may then choose to draw one or both of their cards from the topmost resource pile corresponding to that card. Uh, there is, of course, Igor. Uh, Igor has all three resources, and so you can choose from any of the piles. What else can we possibly find in our hand? We have ghouls. So a ghoul is laid by a player and then immediately discarded. Laying a ghoul allows a player to take any single corpse or accomplice uh, that an opponent owns and places it in front of them. So this is the take that mechanic using a ghoul. Any resources or coffin lids on the cards are also moved. Ghouls cannot be used to take corpses from another player's scoring pile. So the important point is the quicker you can animate or reanimate your corpse, it is then safe. It, those points are then banked. But whilst you are still working on it, it is vulnerable. We have coffin lids. Coffin lids are laid on top of a corpse, an accomplice, or one of the resource piles. The coffin lid stops all players from using cards underneath it until it is removed with a key. So then, of course, we have keys. Keys are laid on top of coffin lids to unlock them, and then both the cards are placed face uh, up uh, on the discard pile, and there are three fewer keys than there are coffin lids. So this already is turning out to be a little bit of a mean game in your play. So you've got to be happy with players being mean to one another. I'm sure I will be fine, Mystical. You just go and enjoy yourself. <laughs> we then have amulets. Uh, the amulet has two uses. It can be used for as a wild card for your resources, or an amulet can be played to stop the effects of a ghoul. So remember these ghouls that might be stealing your corpse or your accomplice? You can use an amulet to ward it away. So those are the different types of cards we might find in our hand. So after you have play or laid down your two cards. Uh, you then draw. So if after laying a player has less than five cards in their hand, they may draw cards from the deck or the resource piles if they have the right accomplice until they reach five. And then following drawing is the trading. At the end of a player's turn, they may trade some cards from their hand with one of the other players who agrees to trade. I'm not sure if we'll be trading. We're quite competitive, aren't we? 
Uh, you are allowed to have more than five cards in your hand after trading if the trade was uneven. But if you drop below five cards, you cannot draw any more until the drawing phase of your next turn. So that's interesting. So you will have drawn up to five and then you could trade and you could actually be starting your next round with fewer than five cards. So be wary of that. Uh, we have a deck of cards. I think it's about 110 cards in there. So drawing of the final card from the draw pile signals that it is Dawn. Players now have only one turn each remaining. During the final turn, players may trade before they lay, and they may lay as many cards as they like. Then they are out of the game. All right. So we'll do a reminder when we get to the final card on that. Scoring. So here we go. Here's where the points are. A set of three identical corpses is worth 10 points. A set of three different corpses is worth five points. The abomination corpse is five points. And each individual corpse is one point. So there you go. That's the game. That was easy, wasn't it? So let's take a look at your cards. Mystical, I'm going to move mine over here. Let's see what you've got. Okay. So for starters, you have a scroll. You have a corpse. Corpse that requires two potions and a scroll. You, you have a brain. <laughs> you have another corpse that requires a potion and two brains. And then you have two brains. you got a lot of brains. <laughs> okay, so those, those are your cards. I'm going to place them just there. Uh, the rules, uh, very amusingly, <laughs> say that the person who is closest to death <laughs> should start. Um, I don't know if that is a dark and twisted way of saying the oldest person. I'm going to nominate myself as being the oldest in the room, so I will start the game. Yes, exactly. After you, monkey. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Well, that's, this is interesting. So I'm going to keep that. I've got it. What a strange situation. I am going to discard two cards because there's nothing that I can do currently. And so I will then draw up two cards. One, two. And I don't want to trade. And it's over to you. What would you like to do, Mystical? You want to lay that corpse. That is two brains and one potion. Okay. Corpse, two brains, one potion. There it is. Okay, done. And next... Put down two brains. <laughs> okay. There's your two brains. I'm just going to put your cards here. I can actually put them there. Okay. Let's draw up your two replacements. You gain a scroll. And you gain... Oh, horrifying. You gain another corpse, which is a brain and two scrolls. So as you can see, the, I mean, the artwork is 
dark and macabre, but not too scary. So I think that maybe some younger people might enjoy the uh, the dark nature uh, of the theme on this game. Okay. I am going to... I'm, I'm just going to start it straight off. I'm going to place down my corpse. And then I'm going to get a ghoul. <laughs> to steal your two brains. And I just want to double check. Do I get to... So when the ghoul, does it allow me to place it? Take any single corpse or compass. Oh no, it can't. It can't take the brains. But it can take the corpse. Ah, okay. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna take the corpse. I'm just gonna take it all. <laughs> uh, yep. Yep. That's it. So we can put that there. So I've played my two cards. And I will draw back up to five. And it's over to you. Play the corpse with two scrolls and one brain. Two scrolls, one brain. There we go. The new one. You know what? I'm actually going to put your cards because we are... Uh, And play one scroll. Done. And we'll draw up again. So you get an amulet. That would have been helpful. And, oh, a coffin. Coffin lid. Remember that locks until there is an available key. Hmm. I am going to... Play a corpse. And play a potion. And draw two cards. Good evening, Roger. Welcome. We've just started our game of Cadaver from Cheatwell Games. Play the scroll, play the brain. There's scroll, there's a brain. So you have effectively scored that corpse. We're gonna just place that there. These tuck in underneath in our resolve pile. Oh, I should have, shouldn't I? Yes, you're quite right. I absolutely did not see that. Quite right. But hey, never mind. We keep going. We keep going. Uh, who knows what might happen. So you have scored your corpse. We have, wow, another lid, coffin lid. And a corpse that requires a potion and two brains. Ooh, okay. What am I going to do? I'm going to have to use it. I'm going to play my double scrolls. I didn't I, I didn't want to waste them, but so be it. And I'm gonna play down an accomplice. This guy allows me to uh, select from the brain pile. So then,
is I'm just looking at the chat there. Is that Hayes? 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 I always get the names wrong. What is the goal of the game? The goal is to reanimate as many corpses as possible before we run out on the deck. And we are then trying to collect uh, three identical corpses is worth 10 points. Corp three corpses of different types is five points and there is a special abomination corpse that is five points we are collecting resources and then laying them down on our corpses <laughs> there's a definite rhyme there isn't there okay so i can draw up so i'm going to use my accomplice to draw here and i'm going to take one from the grave the amulet can act as a wild card or it can um, negate the ghoul. So you've got your, your amulet a little bit too late. Yeah, yeah. Dang it, you say. Play the corpse with the two potions. All right. There he is. And discard one coffin, right? Yes. I think we will. there might be a fair amount of discarding in this game, I can imagine. Okay, and so we draw up for you. Uh, you have a potion. That's handy. You have a key. Oh, that's handy. Not too bad. I am going to... Yeah, you know what? I feel like I'm in a similar situation here. I'm going to discard two coffins. And so I'm going to draw up. I'm going to use my guy to take a brain card. And we'll take one from the grave. All right, over to you. Play the potion. Potion played. You, yes, the key is used on the coffin, but it's only once a coffin has been played. So the key is a valuable resource should a coffin lid be placed on a corpse or on a resource. Okay, so where are you playing the coffin? The coffin lid, I should say it's coffin lid, can be laid on top of a corpse, an accomplice, or one of the resource piles. Oh, you can place it. You can definitely place it on my accomplice. Yes. Is that what you want to do? <laughs> so there we go. So whilst this coffin lid... <laughs> you, can, you can hear... Banging on the, on the lid. <laughs> Let me out! Uh, okay. So we draw up... 
some no new cards. Uh, there is a corpse that requires three scrolls. And there is a brain. Okay. Well, I, I'm surprised you didn't do what I thought you were going to do. I am going to place my brains there. So I have one corpse reanimated. And I'm going to use an amulet as a potion to reanimate my second corpse. So let's tidy these up. We have corpse number one, corpse number two. So brains go to the bottom of the brain pile. Scrolls just there, and the amulet goes there. Uh, I cannot use my accomplice, so I am drawing two from the grave. And it's over to you. Play the corpse with the brains. Okay, there he is. And place a brain. All right, done. Let's see what you get. You get another corpse of the same kind that you have already. And you get another key. Oh, wow. Okay. I am going to play an accomplice. That is Igor. Yes, master. <laughs> and... Oh. I'm going to discard... a scroll. <laughs> bad, bad ego, bad ego. Okay, so I am going to take up... I can take up two cards, and Igor can take up everything. So I'm going to take up one, two. There we go. Over to you. Play the amulet on the potion. So, I think you mean this one, don't you? So there you go. And discard a key. Done. Next card. We got another corpse that requires brains and a scroll. And you have a potion. Okay. I am going to put down the double potion. And I will discard a potion. So... I'm going to put those in that order. There you go, back to this pile. We have another... another corpse. And I can draw two. I'm going to take them from uh, from the grave. Okay, over to you. It 
If yes, yes, indeed, yes, because the amulet will act as a scroll for you. So yes, quite right. Your amulets act as wild cards. So you already have one potion. You could then use your second potion. Yep, no problem. So that's going to score that corpse. Place the corpse with three scrolls. Okay, well, let's tidy this up because this one's scoring. I'm going to place that there. Uh, the amulet goes there. Potions go just there. And you have a new corpse just there. Okay, let's see what you get. You get, <laughs> you get a corpse requiring three potions. And you get two scrolls. Oh, oh, that's lucky. That's lucky. Okay. I am going to place down one corpse and then another. And I'll take two cards. Over to you. We are maybe a quarter of the way through the deck. Place the two scrolls on the scroll corpse. Done. And place the corpse with the two brains. Done as well. Okay. Next cards. You get a brain. That's what you want. And you get a, a coffin lid. All right. I'm going to place down a corpse. Place down a brain. And I'm going to use Eagle. Trust it with Igor. I'm going to take a potion and take another potion. Loyal Igor. All right, over to you. Place coffin lid on Igor. No! <laughs> How mean! How cruel! But I want to get out, master! Uh, place brain. Where's the brain going? Which one's the brain going on? This one or this one? The one that already has a brain. There we go. Okay, you get two potions. And, ah, it is the potion accomplice. You have an accomplice now. Okay. I am going to place two cards in quick succession. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Uh, so that allows me to animate that guy just there. And we'll move that across. We'll take two cards. We have one of those and one of those. Okay, over to you. This is not quite like that Steve Martin 
film, was it The Man with Two Brains? There's lots of brains going around here. Place the accomplice. Okay. There you go, just there. And then place the corpse with potions. Okay, we're running out of room. Let's give ourselves a little bit of space. You can go there. Uh, and then use the accomplice to draw two potions. Oh, look at this. One, two. Okay. Look at all these potions. Right. I'm going to place a brain. And place a scroll. And draw two cards. Over to you. I think I know what you're going to do. <laughs> Play card with two potions and one potions on potion corpse. Yep. So they get played on him. He is part of your army. I don't know, the game doesn't say whether you're trying to raise an army of the dead. You know, I'm, I'm making assumptions, which is unfair. Maybe you're not. Uh, gosh, she, she looks quite a fresh one. I think the artist has really, really gone for it on, on these, uh, <laughs> this artwork. It's awesome. Okay, uh, she requires a brain and two potions. So... I'm gonna put her down. I'm gonna put him down. And draw up two. Over to you. Place a potion on the corpse with two brains. A potion on the corpse with two brains. Yep, there we go. Place corpse with two potions. So that tidies this one up. So let's get rid of that. I'm just going to have this pile here. I'm going to put her just there. Brain. Uh, potions. Okay. And then you are going to... Use draw from potions. Okay. So one. Oh, look at that. Two. Good evening, Baron. Welcome. How are you? We're playing quite a, a macabre game called Cadaver. We are raising the dead. Okay. This is where... I, I become mean. I'm going to play a ghoul. I'm going to steal your guy with the scrolls. So give us a little bit of room. And then I'm going to use a key. And I'm going to unlock Igor. Thank you, master. Thank you.
You're going insane, Baron. Well, that's okay. We're all mostly insane here. So then... Eagles are uh, back out and, and ready to rock. So he's going to take a scroll. And a brain, master. A brain. Done. Over to you. Play two potion on the right corpse. Yep. And one potion on the... Uh, no, this, this... So this one requires potions. This lady here, she requires scro a scroll and two brains. It's a scroll, yes. So discard one of your keys. Okay, done. So drawing up, what have you got? You've got a ghoul, oh no. And you've got a corpse that is two scrolls and a potion. Okay. So I am going to play a brain on that one. Play a scroll on that one. So that completes those. One, two, three. This one's completed as well. A pile just there. Uh, now then, what do I want to do? I am going to... Hmm, hmm. Ooh, what, what do I want to do? Yeah, we'll use Igor. Take two cards. Okay, over to you. Use Ghoul on corpse with two potions and one scroll. Okay, that comes over to you, using your ghoul. Uh, place potion. So, I'm assuming that's going to go there, isn't it? Draw one potion, one grave. One potion. One grave. It's another ghoul. <laughs> I'm going to use a ghoul to steal that corpse back. <laughs> <laughs> There's the corpse. <laughs> and then I'm going to use a potion and complete it. It's definitely one of those games where you cannot... <laughs> you can't worry about these things, you've just got to laugh. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to use Igor to take a scroll... ...and a brain.
Okay. That was just mean. Yeah, yes. <laughs> but very, but amusing. Satisfying. Discard the corpse with free scrolls. Done. Uh, you need to play another card first. Or discard another card. Place the corpse. Yep. Okay. So your card is, you get a scroll, and you get another key. You may come in handy. Uh, we're around about halfway through the deck. So then... Well, I'm going to place two potions, and then I'm going to place a scroll. And that does him. There we go. And what do we want to do? We're going to use Igor to draw up, and we'll take one from the grave. Over to you. Place a scroll on the two brains and discard a key. Okay, done. And are you drawing from... I'm assuming you would be drawing from the grave. Yep, okay. What have you got? You got another potion. <laughs> You've got a... Second potion. You've got lots of potions. So much uh, fluid you don't know what to do with now. Okay. I'll do this in quick succession. Boom. Boom. Uh, so that's four brains for somebody who only requires three. Done. Uh, I will take a brain and a scroll. And it's over to you. Play one potion, discard one potion. Uh, so potions on there, discard on there. I'm assuming we're going to go to the grave, because I think you're through with your potions. You got a coffin lid, and you got another key. I am going to place a coffin on that corpse. We'll have no more working on that one for you. And I will place out 
a new corpse. Then I will use Igor to draw a potion and I'll take one from the grave. You're going to put a coffin lid on Igor. And you're going to use the key to open your coffin. Okay. And then drawing from the grave. You get a brain. Oh, that's what you want. And you get an amulet. Oh, look. Some good luck. Okay. I don't like you putting the coffin, Igor, back in the coffin, so I'm going to use a key to unlock him again. And I will place a scroll just there. And I'll take two from the grave. Brain on the two potions. Ghoul on the corpse. Oh no! Oh no! No, no, no! Okay, so that moves over to you. How mean! Okay. Uh, so you complete this one. And she goes just in there. And draw from the grave. Yep. So we got a brain and a coffin lid. Let's just move your corpses over here a little bit. Okay, done. Well, that's just not on. So, I'm going to put down a fresh corpse. And uh, I actually have a, another accomplice. <laughs> Believe me, I, I, I did shuffle all these cards. <laughs> so... What do I want to do? I'm going to take two from the grave. One. Two. Brain and potion. On the scroll one, brain and potion on the scroll one. Yeah, absolutely. So that's going to complete that one just there. Oh, look at that. I did I did all the work for you. I dug it up. I cleaned it off. Got the incantation. Okay. And... Draw one potion, one grave. Uh, am I right in saying that? Score corpse, draw one potion, one grave. Are you sure it's a potion you want? Okay. One potion, one from the grave. You got a 
potion and you've got a ghoul. I'm going to place down a coffin. Your accomplice only does potion. Yes, that's correct. Yep. Ah, uh, yes. Yep, yeah, it's all right. Yep. Yeah. So, coffin's gone down. I'm going to put a corpse down. And... I'm going to ask Igor to take up some potions and take up some scrolls. Coffin on Eagle. <laughs> Leave the poor guy alone. Key on Coffin. Done. Would you like to... Uh... <laughs> he needs to clean his room. <laughs> It's yes, it's too tidy in there. He needs to put cobwebs and spiders in. Uh draw from the grave and potion. Okay, so the grave is two potions. Do you want more potions? No, so we're going to go stay with the grave, yeah? I thought I'd give you that, uh, that option. Try the grave again, yes. You get another ghoul. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. I'm going to play two potions and a brain. So she is done. Okay, let's try. Two from the grave. Ruining your plans, eh? Okay. Discard one potion and use the ghoul. Ah, done. Uh, drawing up from from the grave, I guess. You have a corpse that is two scrolls and a potion. And, conveniently enough, two scrolls. Oh, what am I going to do? I'm going to 
put down him. I'm going to put down a potion. One, two. Over to you. Two scrolls on a potion. Uh, that completes that. And use the... My goodness. Okay, so that's completed. Uh, he goes in just there. Move these along. And draw from the grave. Oh, a grave and a potion. Okay. So, blank. Well, let's let's do the grave first, just in case. Another ghoul. Ugh. And from the potions. Ah. Fine. Put that down there. Put down oceans. Draw up. I'm drawing these cards up and I'm dying inside. <laughs> You're so mean. <laughs> yeah, so you've used your ghoul. Of course. Ah, ah, yeah, okay. That doesn't fix it, though, because you still need to have one more scroll. It's two scrolls and one potion. Remember, you can use a double card, but it only counts as the one item. So that one is still in play. It's, to it's up to you if you want to undo that. Draw from the grave? Okay. Another ghoul. I don't think you're uh, you're too bothered with the uh, undead. You have plenty of ghouls at your command. Uh, you have a corpse, two brains, one scroll. Ah. I'm gonna discard two scrolls. And take two cards. Okay, over to you. <laughs> they love me, what can I say? <laughs> Discard the corpse with one potion. Okay. And discard two potions. And draw from the grave, I take it. So you're going to get a coffin. And a scroll. 
Okay. Well, it's not just you that the uh, the ghouls love. They like me as well. I'll take that one back, thank you very much. And thank you for doing some of the hard work for me. There's the extra scroll needed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Amulet goes there <laughs> That'll teach you <laughs> Right We are into the lower third of the grave here Yeah, Roger, you like the drawings on the cards? Creepy but fun. Yes. Yes, I, I think that uh, you could play this of, uh, you know, late October time uh, with family and they would enjoy the dark theme but wouldn't be too disturbed by it. You would not have uh, serious uh, therapy bills following a play. Okay, Coffin on the Accomplice. Discard the two potions. And drawing from the grave. Draw from the grave. Okay. You got a brain. You got another brain. Okay. <laughs> this, this, this is this is too funny. I'm gonna do another accomplice that that gets brains. <laughs> gosh it's 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 just too much just too much and i'll put down a corpse so then i'm going to draw up a brain and draw from the grave Okay, over to you. Play two brains on your potion. Okay, done. So, he is banked. Drawing from the grave. It's a scroll. And it's a brain. Okay, I am playing three brains straight away, not hanging about. And I too will draw from the grave. Play two scrolls on the right corpse. Not the wrong corpse, but on the right corpse. Done. And from the grave. We're getting very, very close. We can start seeing the wisps of sunlight. So you have a corpse that requires a brain and two scrolls. I will play a corpse <laughs> and laugh, <laughs> play another accomplice that gives me potions. But I'm going to draw from the grave.
Brain on scrolls. Da right, so brain on scrolls. That sorts that one out. And discard two brain corpse. She has a name, you know. Two brain corpse. Honestly, how insensitive. He goes in there. Draw from the grave. Two brains. Eh. Oh. Feels like we're right at the bottom here. Oh, 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 oh. We are. Oh my goodness. You get the last card. So we, we've hit, we've hit the bottom of, uh, of the grave. So let's just refresh. So here we go, Dawn. Dawn has hit. So drawing of the final card from the draw pile signals that is Dawn. Players now have only one turn each remaining. During this final turn, players may trade before they lay and they may lay as many cards as they like when they are out of the game. So then... Do you want to trade some cards? In fact, I can tell you do not want to you do not want to trade any cards, do you? <laughs> um There is actually nothing that I can do. Let's just uh let me just look at the points just to make sure. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. You can score your corpse. Yes, absolutely. So I'm just going to discard my cards because that's it for me. But you're going to put your two brains on that one just there and score that corpse. Okay. That's it. So let's just clear things up a little bit. There's no points for any accomplices that you may or may not have had. They were there to do your bidding. So then, A set of three identical corpses is worth 10 points. Let's see what you've got. We're going to put that one separate because that's a really good one. Okay, so you don't have a set of three. So a set of three different corpses is five points. So, let's put those like so, like that, like that, there you go. Would you, would you agree with my uh, sort of selection there? So, I would say that you've got a straight 20 points there. Yep, you're in agreement. Good, good, good. All right, let's move these guys over. Let's see what I've got. Okay, so I do have one set of three. I'm going to put that with that. 
Nothing to be gained from those. <laughs> oh, oh, actually, no, hang on. So it's actually, that's 25, isn't it? Because, I'm oh, sorry, I forgot. That's 10. And then we've got five points for each set there. So 20, 25. That's pretty close. Oh, but hang on. Oh, uh, right. Yes, I just thought, just for fun, I'm going to steal your corpse. Yes, but it wouldn't have made any effect in the scoring, would it? Yeah, yeah. Close game. No, absolutely. It was the go it was the ghouls, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Well, I I enjoy it. I think that's a that's a fun little game. It, it's a at the end of the night, maybe when you're uh, uh, end of a session, you're just you know not having to think too much about it, but other than just having a uh, being a bit mean to your fellow players, which is always good fun. But uh, yeah, I like it. Uh, the artwork is is lovely. It's really nice. It's it's very thematic, but not too much to the point where it's scary or gross. So of course you can play with uh, younger players, which is nice. It's very, very simple and easy uh, to learn. And so long as everybody's comfortable with the idea that there's gonna be a lot of back and to, you're gonna be stealing from one another or you're gonna be stopping one another from doing things, then I think that everybody will have uh, a, a lot of fun playing. But uh, yeah, it's, good. it's a good laugh. <laughs> Uh, mystical, you're saying this is lots of fun, lots of laughing. Good, yes, yes. I think I think it does that that very well. So I believe that this game is launching at the beginning of June. So we're still just a couple of weeks away, uh, but you'll then be able to pick it up in your local game stores. So let me just click the right box. Is this going to work? Uh, I'm having technical problems now. There we go. So, Rogue, you're going to have to keep an eye out for it. Yes, I think it's a, a perfect one for later in the year. Play with family, isn't it? Cadaver from Cheatwell Games. That's what you want to look out for. A light-hearted game of raising the dead. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. Well, have a wonderful weekend, everybody. Thank you so much for joining in and watching. Uh, look forward to a, another game next week. Uh, hopefully, if all of our technology is working... We are going to be having a bit of a rematch. Uh, again, a rematch with a difference. For there will be something new added to a game that we have played previously on the channel. So there we go. Something to look forward to. Have a wonderful week weekend and uh, we'll see you next time. But until then, bye for now.